Hi people, I'm so excited to be back with you for another plan with me video in my EC today. I am going to be using one of my Simply Ginger Co. kits. I did do a haul on this kit a few weeks back and I am so excited to use it, mainly because of this quote here, goodbye summer, hello autumn. I am so excited, so let's go ahead and get started. I feel like it's been ages since I planned a plan with me video, but I truly am so glad to be back and doing them. I want a middle color and I think I want that middle color to be the brown. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here and place my brown right at the top of my planner, right underneath my header. I do have two ombre heart check boxes left over and I will use those for my sidebar. I have taken all of my headers off and I'm going to match them so that they sit right on top of the matching ombre heart check box color. And I love her kits because she does provide enough matching headers to go with whatever ombre heart combination choices you pick. So that's really nice. I hate getting halfway through a kit and realizing I should have used certain colors because other colors were missing from the headers or little things. So I really love how these are formatted. She has really been very generous with the amount of stickers and choices she gives you. This kit is on a glossy paper. It is so gorgeous. I have completely done a 360 or a 180, rather not 360 because that would be going back, but a 180 and have changed all of my kits from the matte to the glossy and I could not be happier. She does give you this sheet here, so if you wanted to use it for two weeks, you definitely have enough heart checklists to use this kit again. Maybe in if you had like a, a personal size planner, this would work great too. I'm actually going to place my full boxes down first. I typically put my half boxes down right away, but today I want to just change things up a little bit. I am going to be putting my full boxes down here and then putting my half boxes down below. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those on. I do have two stickers left over and I am going to save one for the quote box and then one I can use to fill up extra space. Now it's time to quickly put on my two-day headers. Now I was going to go ahead and put today headers over these two spaces, but then I realized I don't really have to. I can save those headers for a different week. I can go in instead and place my weekend banner. This might bother some people, but there is going to be a tiny little bit of gray poking in the back, but it does not bother me at all because this kit does include gray in it. I think that's as best as I can probably get it. Because I did start with my pattern boxes first and not my half boxes, I am going to head down to my bottom and start building up. I will be taking the patterned washi strips and just placing them quickly at the very bottom and they are sized very, very nicely. And doing the same with this side. It's time to go in with my little things, and I love that she gives you so many options for your little things area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to match little things to the colors of the to-dos and today headers. I am going to use my little things meal planner to just jot down the supper plan for that evening. Then my TV to go right on top of it and a little heart indicator. I have not been very faithful lately with my Instagram posts so I do want to 
stick that back in there. And while I am in this area, I'm just going to put on my Little Bits header as well. I just wanted to mention that on Friday and Sunday, I put two extra stickers. One was for the car and one is the star. So on Friday and Sunday, my goals are to do YouTube related activities. And so that's why they're there. And then the car is for Friday, I need to gas up. And Sunday, I need to take my car in and get the windshield fixed because I did not or I was not able to do it the other week. So I need to make sure that I have a spot to specifically write that down. I have already placed all of my little things, so I am going to go in with my washi tape and then my half boxes and start placing them down. My sidebar I am going to go to the top and start working my way down start with this goodbye summer hello autumn sticker this is so pretty and I'm just going to line it up at the top there we go let's put a washi strip down I'm going to put a work header right underneath my washi strip, place it down, and then I'm going to put this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday sticker right underneath it. I'll put a personal header right down here, and this could be for self-care items or things that I really just need to do for myself this week, and I will use one of the leftover ombre heart check boxes. There we go. And then I put this cute little mailer in the corner. I do want to take the time and cover these flags over here because they are not the prettiest. And I'm just doing this so that that color, um, little colored flag is covered. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the actual planning of it all. I need to go to the doctor's on Tuesday, so I'm going to put that. Then I'm going to put this little exclamation mark because that is definitely important. On Monday, I also have a meeting that is happening right after school. I'm thinking I'm going to use this little coffee cup to write in that meeting information. Wednesday, I do not have anything planned, which is nice. Um, Sunday, I need to pay a bill. I'm going to have to go grocery shopping this Friday. Maybe I'll do this. I'll put a little flag off to the side and then a little groceries right inside of it. We also need to do laundry on Thursday as well. I believe our payday is on Wednesday. I will put this over here and then I will put a little planner like this. I believe this is everything for my spread this week. I do hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you have a great week and bye for now.